hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel it's been a long while but today we have a video and i have a guest with me today as you can see hi from guys. behind me welcome from under the bougainvillea <laughs> flower and i'm going to invite our guests to introduce themselves and tell us what we are going to do today Hello guys, my name is Jen and today we are going to learn about a simple life hack and uh, we are going to bake a cake, a simple 1 kg cake and you are going to use a chaco jiko yeah, we are going to use a, a, this type of jiko yeah, not just any ordinary jiko but this one that that is made of clay yeah, and I'm sure almost every one of you owns one in the your home yeah. these are the ingredients for the cake and our cake is one kg remember our cake is one kg and we will use 250 grams margarine uh, two, two tablespoons lemon juice uh, two cups of uh, baking flour uh, a quarter kg sugar or one flat cup of sugar, half a cup of water, two tablespoons of baking powder, and four to eight eggs. Why are we using lime for for the cake? Mm, the main purpose of using lemon mm. for those who for don't those like who, uh, yeah, for those who don't like egg. It makes the, the smell of the egg. smell go away. Mm. <laughs> the smell and the taste of those eggs kind of disappear. Yeah. But you can also use vanilla essence instead of li lime. Mm -hmm. And you can also use both. And if you have to use milk, because you can use water instead of milk. Milk. If you use or milk, milk instead milk. of water, make mm. sure you don't use the lemons because lemon lemons and milk never go together. Okay. The acid in the lemon will make the milk go sour and that will, will not be good for our cake okay yeah thank you so now we can proceed from there what's the next step yeah we are going to start mm -hmm. mixing our ingredients mm -hmm. and we are going to start with the the liquid ingredients mm -hmm. we are going to start mixing our ingredients and we are going to start with Mixing margarine and sugar. Our margarine, and mm -hmm. you said it's 250 grams. Mm -hmm. Margarine, mm -hmm. as you can see. Yeah, I think that's enough. That's for a 1 kg cake. Yeah, 1 kg simple mm. cake. Mm. Simple cake. Simple cake. So, so, what is a simple cake for those who might not know? It's a simple cake. It's not, you don't need too many ingredients. Mm -hmm. You only need the the normal ingredients for making the cake and by normal i mean you need only sugar margarine eggs flour baking powder and you are good to go ah so yeah. this is more like for a beginner yeah 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 for a beginner exactly okay yeah so i'm going to measure my sugar mm -hmm. you said you, you said you need a quarter kg or one cup mm -hmm. one cup of sugar one flat cup that is mm -hmm. yeah there we go mm -hmm. and I'm going to mix them so some people might be wondering whether the wooden spoon is going to actually make it. <gasps> yeah uh, like you said mm -hmm. when you were starting mm. we are learning about hacks mm. and you don't need very expensive utensils mm -hmm. <laughs> in order for you to be a good cook yeah yeah okay you can use whatever you have at hand All wherever right. you are okay yeah there go. this mixture looks so familiar though <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah i remember when we were in high school so mm -hmm. we that. when we were in high school we used to make this kind of mixture yeah in and high then, school yeah and then we used to add chocolate or cocoa milk yeah. powder <laughs> juice a lot of us in kenya in boarding school can relate because there are a few cups you might see them behind us uh -huh. 
we are, we are in the village just in case you are wondering why there are cows behind us yeah mm. we are right in the middle of a village and yep. we are making our cake mm -hmm. mm, starting to look yeah nice. but then you should mix you should mix the sugar and the bb until the paste looks whitish ah. until the those sugar granules disappear like completely okay. yeah but you don't need expensive expensive utensils or ovens or anything mm -hmm. to bake. You yeah. can use whatever you have at hand and you're good to go. Yeah. So guys, as you can see, our mixture is ready. You can see the the sugar granules are, have almost disappeared. Next step, I'm going to break my eggs, and you need to break them separately, so that in case one egg is rotten, it's not going to make your margarine and sugar mixture go bad. Okay, so there we go. That is one, and we said you can use between four and eight eggs. Oh, so we said what's the size of the cake? It's one kilogram. Okay. Simple cake. Okay. Yeah, there we go. And in this case, mm -hmm. we are going to use four eggs. And which type of eggs are? Because, for example, in Kenya, we know there are the Kenyaji, Kenyaji eggs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think you can use any, but I would recommend you use the Kenyaji ones because of the color. Okay. Yeah, you know, I think it's not, I think it is not yellow inside. Okay. If it doesn't have the yellow color inside, mm -hmm. uh, I don't think it is that attractive. Okay. And you know that you're not one to give the cake the color. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, our eggs are ready. So we are going to add the eggs to our to our mm -hmm. margarine and to our margarine and sugar, sugar mixture. There we go. We are going to stir our mixture. slowly turning into a paste and you are saying something about stirring in one direction yeah you should stir in one direction so that you don't create bubbles that may end up creating holes in your cake okay. yeah so if you're doing it anti-clockwise you should do that until the end if you're doing it the yeah. other way should be that until the end okay. yeah our paste is ready so we are going to add half cup half cup of water and mix well tablespoons of lemon juice Two flat cuts. Sorry for that. Mm. 
And then we are going to mix our flour mm -hmm. with baking powder. And mm -hmm. in this case, mm -hmm. we will use two, two tablespoons, tablespoons. Mm -hmm. of baking powder. Mm -hmm. By the way, just in case anyone is wondering, that tin mm -hmm. had the yogurt. <laughs> We've just emptied our baking powder into that tin. Yeah, we're in the village. When you are in the yeah. village, you can get away with almost anything. Yeah. yeah. Do you use salt in your cakes? I'm no, just no, curious. No, I don't. Even I don't. a pinch of salt? No. I don't. I only use sugar and baking powder. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we are going to add the dry ingredients into the to the liquid one. Okay. Yeah. Should not forget stirring in the same direction. In the same direction. From the start to the end, it should be one direction. As you can see, the paste. It's getting Sweet thicker. Ovens. Yeah. Consistency is looking really nice. Yeah, it's very smooth. Mm. The texture is very smooth, mm. as smooth as you can see. Mm -hmm. And you're almost ready. Okay. Yeah, our paste is ready. I think it's ready now. All right. So, guys, we are going to use our sufuria, our normal sufuria for baking, but it has to be the texture of the sufuria has to be a bit thick, mm -hmm. and it has to be it has to be a bit deep. Mm -hmm. You don't need those expensive baking tins that you buy from the shop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And in this case, you're going to use the sufuria. Sufuria, the normal sufuria okay. that we use in the village. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm going to grease it. I'm going to grease my sufuria. Mm -hmm. So you have to make sure your hands are clean. Mm -hmm. Because you'll need your fingers to get the sufuria from the inside. And we all know why we grease our... Yeah, because... Of so that the cake doesn't stick. Doesn't stick <laughs> <laughs> to the baking tin. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, my sufria is ready. So, it's time to add, yeah, to pour our paste mm -hmm. into our sufria. Our cake is ready. 
Quebec. Oh, but, mm-hmm. Yeah. So what's the next step? Uh, now this is the hardest part. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we are going to use our charcoal. Mm-hmm. The charcoal we had yeah, the charcoal. over there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're going to spread it on this lid. Mm-hmm. And you have to be very careful because this is a very risky. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're dealing with fire. Yeah, you're dealing with fire here. It's mm-hmm. a very risky process. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we are going to take all the the, yeah, all the, the burnt charcoal, charcoal. Is the burnt charcoal in your jiko. Mm-hmm. You spread it on this lid. Mm-hmm. On then, top. Yeah, on top of this lid. Mm-hmm. And then you put, you place your sufuria on the jiko since the clay, the, this clay part is already heat, heated. That's why we, so you heated. insisted, yeah. Yeah. That's why you insisted on a clay jiko. jiko. Not the ordinary ones. You remember the ordinary ones? The metal ones. Yes. Yeah, that one cannot be. Okay. So yeah. we are going to do that, then we'll get back to you to yeah. show you how it looks like. Okay. okay. On don't burn your fingers. Yeah. Make sure you don't burn yourself in the process. So we are emptying all the Yeah, you have to empty everything mm-hmm. from your deep cup. Mm-hmm. And then you place you place your baking tin on top of the jiko and then you put your lid on top of your sufuria. You cover your sufuria with the lid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because our jiko was already very hot yeah. from all the burning coal. Yeah, and then you need to close the the door. The door so that your heat doesn't get lost. <laughs> And you're good to go. So how for how long are we going to leave? We are going to bake a cake for exactly 45 minutes. Okay. Yeah. After 45 minutes. Our we'll cake will be yeah, ready. Our cake will be ready in 45 minutes. Okay. Then let's see all of you in 45 yeah, minutes. Hey. Yay. This is our cake. Ooh. So this is um I think forty five. And you go hold a bisha. Yeah. And you go hold a bisha. And you go hold a bisha. Yeah. If the cake is cracked, it means it has baked well. Wow, it smells so good here, right here. Mm. Do not remove it right away from the sufuria. Just mm-hmm. let it cool for a while. Mm-hmm. So that it doesn't crack. Oh, see, it looks yummy. Yeah, it has wow. browned really well. Let's see. The cake is ready. It has cooled off, and you want to remove it from the baking sphere. Hey, Ebu, we first see it. Yeah. Let's. It looks amazing, guys. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you have to be very careful so mm-hmm. that you don't crush it. Place it on our tray. Hey, hey. And, and our, our sufuria is clean. Yeah. It's as good as it was before we hey, guys. were baking. Guys, do you see this goodness? Hey, hey. I don't think no, anyone has an excuse now. Yeah, no one has an excuse to say that they can't. They can't, m- yeah, they can't Just pick a cake from home. The village, or maybe you are going to visit your relatives in the country. So it doesn't mean that you cannot bake a cake. Yeah. Especially during the Christmas Eve. Yeah. On your birthdays. Yep. Yeah.